New at four, we have a very special guest today. I'm beyond excited to introduce you to Marshall Ramsey. He's the editor at large for Mississippi Today, a Pulitzer finalist, Emmy Award winning journalist, author, father, and the list goes on. But most of you probably know him for award winning editorial cartoons. Welcome, Marshall. <laughs> Welcome. I mean, this is such an honor to get to sit down with you and have a conversation. Well, it's an honor for us here at WTVA for all the work that you do, all Thank the you. awards, the academic but who is Marshall Ramsey? I'm a dad, I'm a husband, I'm a Mississippian, and I'm a guy who is so lucky he gets to draw cartoons for a living. And let's talk a little bit about your cartoons. Mm -hmm. How did you uh, start that? The true story, my mom figured out when I was two and a half that she could give me paper and crayons in church and it would keep me quiet. <laughs> But now it is your editorial cartoons are seen all over the world. And it's amazing. And and I tell you, I told my dad when I was eight years old because I grew up in Georgia, grew up in Atlanta, and they, Jimmy Carter was running for president, and I love the cartoons in the paper. And I told my dad, I said, I'm going to be an editorial cartoonist. And it was the weirdest thing a kid could possibly tell his dad, but you know what his answer was? What? You'll be the best one ever. And you know what you are. We oh, are actually you. showing some of your editorial cartoons, and I tell you, absolutely beautiful, um, especially when I see this with the two military men who died in the crash here in Prentice County. What goes through your mind as you are creating a cartoon? How do you actually come up with it? You know, it's kind of like refilling a well. I do a lot of reading. I do a lot of catching up on the news. And then I sit down with a blank piece of paper or now with an iPad and I just start, start sketching and ideas will literally pop into my head. One of my most famous cartoons is probably the Barbara Bush cartoon. And literally, I just had an image of Robin, her daughter, running toward her, being making that final greeting in, in heaven. And I found out later from Jenna Bush Hager that literally the moment that I thought of that idea, her father was on his knees next to his mother talking about Robin. So it's like a lot, sometimes it's just a God thing. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And when you have those moments. I mean, what does heaven looks like to you? You know, I hope it's not white clouds because clouds are cold and wet. So mm -hmm. I always think like my dad passed away six years ago and he loved the Tennessee River and he loved uh, this cabin. And I always pictured heaven for him being he would be on the lake and having a good time. So I always hope that heaven is the happiest place where you experienced your happiest in your life. All right. Now, Marshall, you yeah. also uh, are a children's book author. Tell us about Saving Sam. Oh, I'm so excited about that. It's premiering this uh, this fall, September, I guess, 14th at the Mississippi Book Festival, it's Saving Sam. Those are literally my pets, except for the alligator. I never had an alligator as a pet. <laughs> but during the pandemic, I started doing free coloring sheets, and it's based on a book that I did about 10 years ago called Banjo's Dream. Was Banjo was a rescue dog that we had. And so Banjo, Sam, and Pip, and Pip's my dog now, I would put them in these coloring sheets. I did over a thousand of them free free of charge for people to color when they were stressed out and everything else. And so I came up with the story and lo and behold, Neil White at Nautilus Press is going to publish it and it's coming out and I'm all excited about it. All right. And finally, uh, you are the editor at large for Mississippi Today. Um, when it comes to being an editorial cartoonist, because I want to show these mm -hmm. next two, um, how do you try not to take a political stab? Well, that's by, by nature, that's what I do. You know, I mean, it's it's my opinion, and that's what the editorial. It's not necessarily Mississippi Today's opinion; it's my opinion. Mm -hmm. But I always try to be fair in my unfairness, if if that makes any sense. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, I don't wake up in the day and I have an agenda. I have a wake. My only agenda is the fact that I just want things to run well, and I want my kids to grow up in a great Mississippi. And if it doesn't work, guess what? I'm going to draw a cartoon about it. <laughs> and again, what is your hope for Mississippi? I know that you were in the Mississippi Delta uh, doing a listening tour there. You're now here in Tupelo. You're going all around. What is your hope for Mississippi? When I interviewed many, many moons ago, from I came from San Diego, California, which is a pretty big shot going from San Diego to here. And I'm from the South, but still, I fell in love with the people in that interview. And I every day I wake up, I used to want the best for my kids, but they're grown, almost grown now. My youngest is 17, but I really want the best for them, but I want the best for Mississippi itself because our people are so special. All right, then, Marshall Ramsey, thank you so much for thank joining us. Thank you. This uh, was so much fun. <laughs> fun for me, too. Thank you. We'll be right back. 